Hi, I'm Tom from Malaysia, and today we are going to be talking about the Music Cube plugin. The Music Plugin is a software reincarnation of Alasia's famous analog stereo equalizer. It gives you a painstaking emulation of the sound and features the hardware is known and popular for, and more. Thanks to the combined efforts of the Alasia team and code experts for Brainworks. Because it was recreated in the software domain, we could add the features that didn't find a place on the hardware, such as floating values, a bypass for each band, a link mode, gain controllers, and an MS matrix. All of this will add even more flexibility to this incredible EQ you can now use in two different versions. The mixed version and a small user interface for usual EQ jobs, and the master version and its fully-fledged interface to get all the features more demanding stereo resources may request. Let's now review what this amazing tool can do for you. In this first example, we'll take a nice drum kit and we'll use the music cue to make it sound even better. In this example, the guitar was recorded a bit too close from the mic, which creates a bit too much proximity effect that we'll try to get rid of. It now sounds like it was recorded with the perfect placement. Here is another situation where the music you will really shine. This vocal was recorded with a ribbon mic. If you wanna dance, it's a very nice sound, me. very smooth. Then show me the way, but if you hear the play with me but mine need to cut more in the mix go find another toy if you want to dance so here is what we can do if you want to dance use the low shelf in cut mode remove a bit more way, proximity effect if you hear the play first around 1k mm, go find another toy more if high you want to dance with me and even more high end with the high shelf with me then show me the way, but if you hear the play, to shift with me the frequency mm -hmm. balance. Go find another toy if you wanna dance with me. Towards a more present, if you wanna dance, less bassy sound with me. Then show me the way, but if you hear the play with me, mm -hmm. go find another toy. So let's now use the more advanced features like the high cut and low cut with the resonance or the warm mode and see what we can do with them. We'll start by using the low cut filter with resonance, boost it to its max to beef up the kick drum, and then use the other bands to fine tune the frequency response of the entire beat.
The same concept can be used in the high end on this hi hat. There we'll use the high cut filter with resonance this time. And we now mix it with the beat to show it in context. Let's now hear the wonderful effect of the warm mode on the entire loop. Check out what it does on the low end. On top of all the great features found in the hardware version of the MusiQ, the plugin offers an extra set of features we know you're gonna find very useful. And we have already used one of them since the beginning of this video, which is a gain makeup to compensate for the level differences between the dry and wet signals. In this example, we'll address a pretty hunky sounding drum kit to make it sound better try to find the problem frequency by boosting the mid band in our Q mode and sweep through the band, use the bypass to hear the effect. until we feel we found it. We can now cut it and fine tune the amount of cut and again use the bypass to hear the effect of this EQ change. Mission accomplished. The MS matrix of the MusiQ plugin is the perfect tool to solve problems, but it can also be used as a great creative tool, like for instance on this beat. So we are now processing the center. And let's now tweak the sides. We'll use the warm mode and now play with the gain controllers to change the balance between the mid channel and the sides. Pretty dramatic change. Far from this extreme setting, but still in the MusiQ galaxy, we'll now use the master version for mastering. A situation where less is often more, but also where those extra features will be very welcome additions. And you're gonna hear that even the smallest EQ changes can make a difference. It's a nice mix, but it can be improved. So we'll engage the MS matrix, address the mid channel first, and then proceed to the sides. you like this video. We wish you a lot of fun with your music you plug in and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.